Hello everybody, Eminem Storm here, and welcome back to Stellaris. In the last episode, we worked on consolidating after the war with the Covenant. We got our armies built, we took care of all of this. Um, there's no more unrest. We got our armies reconsolidated back into the transport fleet. We you know, continued working on producing replacement ships for the ones that were lost in the war against the Ubizon Zealots. Uh, we are we have everything queued up we need for the seventh Star Hunters. So we just need to wait for that to work. And then we're gonna work on the eighth Star Hunters. Get that all done there. And that should do it. Now, we need to th also think about continuing our southern, I guess, if you could, there is a south, but our push down here towards the Prothoran Scourge border. Which, what I'm thinking about doing is going up against the Kravadox Council, primarily here. I think eventually we're going to want to go up against the United, what is this, Gerite State? We just need to reduce them in size a little bit before we can just vassalize them. They don't have any allies. They have a Federation Association status and non-aggression packs. There's some trade deals, but no actual like defensive packs or alliances that we would need to worry about. So they'll be fairly simple to just, you know, shear off several systems and then vassalize them. Just to neutralize them. Oh, up here, this region isn't that much of a priority anymore. Um, the Uvzant Zealots are still at pathetic power levels. We can beat them when they're at maximum strength, so I'm not really going to worry about them too much. Okay, so let's just unpause it. Let's get, let's get those ships building. Everything moving. System survey complete. Ah, we're working on getting these systems surveyed. Is that being worked on? Yes. Survey system. So that's all been surveyed. I remember noticing that there were a couple of systems out here that do need to be survey. surveyed. Mm, those are not actually in our territory. This one is, though. Construction complete. Now, where were actually all my battle fleets? Up there. System survey complete. Uh, get your spaceport upgraded. Same thing with you, get your spaceport upgraded. Another thing we did is we have finished our construction site uh, here for the ring world and we have begun building the ring world frame. That's going to take another you know, 2600 days to get the framework built. And we do actually have an additional directly controlled system. So once we can get that ring world colonized, we can directly control it. All right, so what I think is that six fleets should be more than enough. We'll leave the seventh and the eighth out of this until they are up to strength. 
So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, we're going to declare a war. We determine that their allies and their federation are of no consequence. And what we want is we want this planet, or this system, right there. We want these two. Epsilon, Eridani. We want... Alpheca. I want... Chetris. Saldar. See Yildun here. You might as well just take as many as we possibly can. Seventy-nine. I guess we'll go ahead and take... Upstoth. We may be able to get one more system in here. That one, right there. Just out of curiosity, can I put that one in there and 100% war score? Perfect. Confirm it. We have declared war. All right. Now I intend for these guys to be workers as opposed to cattle. So that's the plan here because the. The guys here who are harvesting the cattle species we just assigned, which are basically all the covenant species, uh, are need some resources, so we're gonna need to throw them some work workers. It's kind of the point of this. Well, one of the many points. Uh, first star hunters, you guys head over here. Second star hunters, you head there. Third, there, fourth, here, fifth, there, sixth, send you straight at their home world. Keep an eye on our construction here. Corvettes. Only a few of these cruisers. I still have some battleships that are being built. Yep, the ISK can be at war with us all they want. They can't actually get any ships towards us. And these guys are way too small to be of any consequence. Okay, so they have begun jumping away from the system. No matter who is going to arrive in enemy territory first. System survey complete. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. There we are. Situation log updated. Alien spaceport engaged. Hostile station engaged. Situation log updated. Situation log updated.
Hostile station engaged. Construction complete. Situation log updated. Hostile yeah, station jump. engaged. Jump. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. Construction complete. Construction complete. All right, let's check the situation log. Combat stats. We did not lose any ships. Construction complete. Hostile station engaged. Situation log updated. Construction complete. Situation log updated. Construction complete. All right, no losses. No losses. No losses. I am big. There's a small enemy fleet. Well, they're transports. Station under attack. Situation log updated. Station under attack. Well, well, well. I think the A Star Hunters are gonna get some action after all. Ah, uh, they are using super lasers as well. Where'd that enemy fleet go? It just disappeared. Well, that's interesting. Alright, science ships, we need you to continue getting work done. Serving that system. All right, construction ships. A bunch of stuff that need to get built over here. Mining stations, mining stations, research stations, mining, research, mining, research. Admiral Zaraxim died at the age of 131. First Star Hunters. So we will need to choose a new Admiral. Uh, leaders, right. You, because you have the logistics trait.
Okay, so. Transport fleet, let's just come over here and take care of this first. goes seven star hunters and two battleships would be more ships because it needs 20 more it's only at 16 hmm is it short one cruiser Yes, it is short one cruiser. Alright, we're landing. Station's under attack. Enemy planet secured. Fine. Complete. You can head up there all you want. I'll just rebuild whatever they blow up. No big deal. Here, begin landing armies. Stations of research stations are done. Construction complete. System survey complete. Uh, we are receiving a weak signal from the surface of this planet. The source appears to be some kind of tracking beacon. Go ahead and research it. Construction complete. Spaceport construction is done. Construction complete. Just need to wait for everybody to merge in, and then we will start work on the eighth Star Hunters. I'll have you guys just go ahead and dock up. Ancient survey marker. A small short-range transmitter has been located on the surface of Tem 5. 
Appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of a precious metal. Uh, precious metals. Miners, it was meant for, evidently never arrived, as the deposit is still here. Ah, nice. Apparently you can do that. Double click on a ship to focus on it. Huh. Enemy planets beg for mercy. Alright, planet secured. Let's leave a token force behind to hold the planet. On to the next planet in the system. Yep, no chance. Research is complete. Ah, our octuple turbo lasers are done. Disruptor threes. Hmm. Yep, we'll go for it. All right, so let's take a look at our designs. Oh, hold on. Down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our ship designer. Because those are a large slot only. Let's see. Large slot. Artillery bow. We're using very heavy turbo lasers right now. That do average damage 14.5, 44 to 112. 113 to 243, 1543 total damage. That is a rather significant improvement. Range is 100, range is 85. These are just enormously better than what we're currently using. So, everybody with large weapons are going to switch over. Ships. Enemy planet secure. All right, do you have any larges here? Yes, here. Might want to cycle fleets in for upgrade as well. And 
And for large, we actually need to compare these against the kinetics. Hold on just a second. Pause it here. 133 to 243 with 100 range. 15.43. Kinetic artillery batteries. 121 to 239. 15.57 with 100 range. 20% of armor. 33% shield damage. 40% of armor. 5% shield penetration. 30% shield damage. Hmm. 33, 62%. 70% of these are more accurate. Cool down is eight, seven and a half. You know what? I think these are actually the better options all around. Switch over to pure turbo lasers. All right, so. Is the Seven Star Hunters at the full strength? Indeed they are. Order them to repair, or not repair, to upgrade. It's gonna take a long time. All right, A-Star Hunters, before we begin replacing, you guys head in for upgrade. Actually, we can replace while you are upgrading. So, let's just quickly review what they have and what they need. Well, actually, while we're doing that, let's... They're landing again. Come over here. Land armies. All right. Third star hunters. Actually, I'm going to tell you to hop here. All right, so we need an Imperial class. Twos are good. We need a Venator. Enemy planet secure. Good. Predictors. We need two acclimators. Updated. One victory class. We need seven of those. I need 
one. No, we needed two. We need one hailstorm. Four broadsides. All right. So then we're just gonna need the destroyers and the corvettes. All right. We'll get to that in a second. All right. So that's occupied. That's occupied. Let's have you occupy this. Move on to the next system. All right, so once the Seven Star Hunters is done, they're basically gonna swap in. All right, you guys are done. Um, Head, actually head here. Or actually, no, you guys change the plans. You guys head for upgrades. Alien spaceport engaged. Situation log updated. Situation log updated. Troops. Okay, so what we're going to do here is probably just end this episode right about here. And then we will continue working on this when we come back. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.